today we're just fishing for whatever's biting. I have fiddler crabs to target sheep's head and lures to target redfish, trout, and flounder. So whatever's biting is what we're going to fish for. We have some high water in the beginning, but it's going out, so the lower the water gets, the better the fishing gets usually. So let's see what happens. If you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to leave a like right now. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If this is your first time watching my videos, my name is Houston and this is Buford SC Fishing. We're in spring now in Beaufort, South Carolina, which means we can target a wider variety of species. We can catch redfish, trout, flounder, and even sheep's head all in one day. If you want to come out here with me and try it, I offer a kayak fishing guide service where I'll take you to where the fish are. I'll show you how to catch them. I plan everything with the tides and weather to make the best trip possible. You can either bring your own kayak or you can use one of these Hobie pedal kayaks that I have. So if a guided kayak fishing trip with me sounds like something you might be interested in, please send me an email. First fish of the day. Little sheep said. Just a little one. But that's a start. bigger fish. Much bigger than the last one. Nice. The sheep said. I'd say that's a keeper. Probably close to 15. Look at the human like teeth on these things. Yep, he's 15. That would be a keeper. First keeper of the day, second fish of the day, not a bad start. It's a 15 inch sheep's head. Let's try to get some more. I'm on the water multiple days every week and a lot of it doesn't end up on video. So what I'm going to start doing is writing a daily fishing report. So that'll also include maybe like really slow days where they don't end up on the video or guided fishing days where I don't really turn the cameras on and of course the really good days. I'll write reports for all of that. The only way you're going to be able to gain access to these fishing reports is by signing up on my Patreon. So I'll have the link on the screen right now and the link down in the description of this video to my Patreon. When you sign up on the Patreon, you're going to really be helping me out and supporting this channel to continue making these videos. And now you're going to have access to same day fishing reports that I will be writing. So we've had two bites and landed two fish, so it's only been like 30 minutes, so it's not bad so far. Bite. Missed him. Crab's still there. Let's see if we can get him again. He was definitely eating it. Yep, he's eating it. It's gone. Feels like a big fish too. It's just doesn't seem like a little fish that's eating it. Got another one. Tiny one. Probably the same one that stole my bait earlier. Third fish of the day. Another little like less than 10 incher probably. I don't think I've shown how I hook these crabs in a while, but how I've been doing it lately 
which this might not be the best way, but this is how I've been doing it. Through where a leg is right there, and then just right out through another area where the leg is or the back. Just the really important thing is you need to have the hook exposed or else you're never going to hook a fish. than the last one at least. It's still not a big fish. If this was a big fish, I probably would have lost it on the piling. We didn't just let him steal the bait. <laughs> just way too small. Look at that. <laughs> I think I was getting a bite instantly. Yep. There's fish are everywhere. This one's bigger. Much bigger than the last one. Still probably only 12 inches. Got him. Okay, this one's gotta be a little bit bigger. Yep. Almost a keeper. Still a nice hard fighting fish at least. I just had a big fish. He rubbed against the piling cut the line at a bad angle I just couldn't do anything really so I just retied from breaking off on a big fish so we know the big fish are here I'm gonna go right back after them put this fiddler crab on and throw it back down there Probably like an inch or a half inch short. This one's a little bit bigger than than the ones I've been catching. Yeah, that's a keeper. Now he's running into the dock. Oh, come on. Second keeper of the day, about 14 and a half. Yeah. You want him? Yeah. All right, here. I'll put him in the net. Okay. Hand him up to you. Yeah. You 
got it? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. This one feels bigger, I can't tell though. It's in some current. I gotta lay my rod down, or it's gonna break. No. So this is probably the 15th undersized sheep said. I'm not gonna show every single one of them in the video. This fish hit a little different. It might not be a sheep said. It's a trash. Oh my god. This is a first. Trout on a fiddler crab. I've never caught one of these on a fiddler crab. And it's a nice one. I've caught flounder, sheep's head, redfish, toadfish, uh, pretty much everything on fiddler crabs. Except for a trout until now. There it is, that's probably 16, 17 inch or it's really not a bad one. So I guess I should measure it just to see. It's keeper for sure. 16 and a half inch trout on a fiddler crab. That's really cool. So we are down to about five crabs left. Gotta try to catch a good fish on one of these. Not looking good. We got like four more. Three more crabs left after this one. <laughs> Two more crabs left after this one. This is the second to last fiddler. Actually got a fish on it. Not a big one. We have one more fiddler left. I think I'm gonna go drop it where I broke off a big one. I think that's my best chance. Here it is, the last fiddler. One of the smallest of the day. see what we can do. Ah, uh, I missed the bite. There it is, that was the last crab. Got him on the artificial. A little red. Probably a like 14, maybe 15 incher. Probably not. Not a keeper. Got a fish. Wasn't even paying attention when I hooked him. He's under me, so I can't even tell how big. He really swallowed it. It's like a 19, 20 incher. Unfortunately, I have to cut the line on this one. So hopefully he's all right. I mean, I know he's bleeding. That hook should rust out as long as he survives. Another fish. Red on the artificial little one. He'd keep 
to be a keeper on the trout trick and a Texas eye probably like 16 inches 17 maybe that was the third red of the day so it wasn't a bad day of fishing uh, we had to really pick through a ton of small sheep's head and because of that I ran out of fiddler crabs because I didn't bring enough but even then we still caught some redfish and and a trout Please don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.